uh, you know, share, they continue to be one of the important aspects. Now, what you can see here is uh, whether we are in, in an economy, whether we need to reduce cost, or whether we are in an economy, whether we need to grow or scale, right? One of the very important things is that we are talking about today is uh, how do I have architecture-driven modernization, right? And what I call this is a seven-step uh, modernization effort, right? So, right, so one of the first thing is we're going to look at is modernization is to look at how the f selection of the framework uh, and you b use the reference models and using a taxonomy and so on, right? Then use this framework to uh, express and explain and document and uh, specify the business strategy, the business drivers, right? Critical success factors, right? Then identify uh, how your current architecture is uh, and its readiness to meet the, the goals, right? And then we look at defining uh, our target architecture, right? Your business and application and data technology and stuff like that. And trying to see how this target architecture uh, is, can actually meet your business driver and critical success factors. Very important then we're going to look at is how, how do you do the gap analysis, right? Business architecture of the past with the business architecture of the tomorrow. IT architecture of the past with IT architecture of tomorrow, right? And once we have the gap analysis and we know what is the, where is the gap exists, at which levels, what categories, right? Uh, we'll look at prioritization uh, and identifying what projects for first prototype and second, and, and based on the experiences, the lessons learned on that, then we're going to roll out for multiple projects. And while we're trying to do that, we're also going to ensure that uh, we have a, a continuous quarterly, six monthly governance and metrics in place, right? So this is basically seven steps, right, of the modernization, uh, and this could be very effective. Either you belong to a, a current economy status where you are looking at reducing costs, you're looking at managing change, or you're looking at the second part of the uh, of the business, which is about scaling your business or, or trying to uh, you know, grow your business, right, uh, enhancing your capabilities in different market segments, right. Now, when you're doing that, one of the very important things I want you to, to start uh, uh, realizing that, uh, you know, uh, don't forget to define the timeline for each of the step, right? Now, what you're seeing is the seven-step modernization step right, uh, efforts, right? You must define what is the timeline for each of the step. You must define the timeline for doing this iteratively, right? How quickly you think you can follow it, complete each of the steps. Define timeline and boundaries, right, uh, for, uh, with a gap of three months to three years, right? So every three months how you can complete the whole cycle, right? Very, very important is to identify uh, who are the people who are going to be responsible for each of these steps, right? Uh, other very, very in in important what I'm, uh, and this again I said that, is to ensure that there's at least one meeting in every quarter among each of the system owners, right? And ensure that you have at least one meeting, right, where you, all the stakeholders of all these step stages are sitting together in review meeting and an auditing meeting. Right, and if you are also outsourcing some of your IT stuff from here, it's not a bad idea to actually even involve some of those.